Hey, Miss Nosebleed here, your English teacher. Hmm, what can we learn today? A warm hello to Jeanette Jones and her kids Sabrina, Siobhan, and Josh of Merseyside, UK. Thank you for watching. If you'd like me to give you a shout out, simply leave a comment below or tweet me at Miss Nosebleed. So now let's focus on two distinct sounds. E versus E. Ready? Let's go. So first, let's talk about one huge difference between Tagalog and English. Tagalog is WYSIWYG, which means what you see is what you get. So when you see two words, kumusta ka, which means how are you, we are actually sounding off each letter, right? K -u -mus -ta -ka, right? There are no silent letters. Uh, there are no useless letters there. We are sounding off each one. Okay, so that that's how we speak, read, write Tagalog. On the other hand, English is not with a wig, it's just like French or other languages. So, for example, the word laughter, we are saying laughter, but we are not sounding off uh, UGH, right? And for honest, we are not sounding off the H. Okay, so this is the huge difference uh, between English and Tagalog. And that is very tricky for Tagalog speakers because we tend to, um, we tend to sound off each letter um, as we see it. So for example, we see the letter I, so we immediately go and say E instead of I. Uh, or I or other, uh, you know, other sounds of I. So um, this is a little bit pro problematic. So now we are going to address the two uh, common sounds of the vowel I, which is I and E. You see the word here, he. I know you see the letter E there, but the sound is E right so it means you're going to stretch it like e it's a little bit longer okay and you have the word him and you see the letter i there and the sound is e, which is shorter so you keep it short so one thing i always say to my students is when you um pronounce the e you kind of smile right like e right and the other one is short so your mouth is a little bit closed Okay, let's have some practice. Okay, so let's start with the easy ones, okay? So you have the E sound, remember to smile and stretch it, okay? And there's the uh sound, which is a short, and you, your mouth is a little bit closed, okay? All right, let's try. So you have the word beat, bit. You see the difference? Beat. The other one is bit. So you cannot say, oh, can I have a beat of ice cream? <laughs> like that. So it's not, it's not, um, you know, it doesn't sound right, right? Okay, so you have peel, pill. Peel, pill. Cheap, chip. Cheap, chip. Feet, fit. Okay, so you cannot say, "Oh, napaka fit mo naman." So what? What do you exactly mean? <laughs> okay, so make sure that you say, "Oh, wow, you're so fit." Okay, so please practice that. Um, you know the difference: beat, bit, peel, pill, cheap, chip, and feet, fit. Um, if you're if you're uh, having a problem with the difference, then just make sure that you say it longer when it's e. If you have to exaggerate it, much better. Just so, just so you can practice it and may and make sure that when you're using the short one, uh, uh, make it really really short, like bit, pill, chip, fit. Okay, not not fit. 
<laughs> not like that so it's fit all right all right okay so let's practice some more you have neat knit heat hit these this and seat sit okay so you might want to pause uh, right now and practice okay uh, remember to keep the e longer and the e short okay all right good job okay let's have more fun all right so now we're going to put the words under the right vowel sound under the right vowel sound is it e or e? okay so the first word what do you think that's right feel how about the next one okay good agree and the next one yes it's short if it's not if 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 I know no it's if okay next that's right been I know you see two E's but it's not been okay it's been I've been there okay all right next that's right it's still short ship okay I ship the two <laughs> all right okay next yes it's e dream and the next one yes little it's not little okay it's little and the next one yes very good six it's not six but six okay and of course the last one is under that's right fear is under e okay all right good job guys yay okay we need more challenge so let's go for longer words all right here are some longer words like two three syllables uh what do you think what uh what are the sounds of the vowel i hear what do you think yes they all have the sound e okay so you have teacher heartbeat agree obsolete easy measles needle and concede all right everybody okay okay and what about this next uh, list of words okay so what is the sound is it e or e? Well, obviously, it's I, right? So let's practice analysis. It's not analysis, huh? Original. Discipline. Invisible. Irritate. Now, that's a hard one because in Tagalog, we'll say, ah, kairita, right? But when we speak in English, we say, irritate okay next privilege significance and statistics all right so when you have this um this sound of uh, you just have to be chill okay like statistics it, you don't say statistics okay it's statistics all right so i hope that's clear let's move forward okay so now let's um make it a little bit more difficult okay so we'll have some combos here like mixed uh uh and e okay this word what do you think yes physical so both uh physical okay next images okay it's not images no it's images all right how about this one yeah 
both E completely. Very good. Next. Yep. Meaningful. So it's an E and an U in one word. Meaningful. Meaningful. All right, next. Yep, all short. Limited. Limited, okay? All right. It's mixed. Believing. Believing. It's not believing. No, it's believing. Believing, okay? Next. Again, mixed. You have increases. Increases, okay? In the increases, okay, no. And then you have quality, quality. It's not quality, no, it's quality. All right, you might want to pause this video and practice. Okay, very good. Now I can't stress enough how important it is to clearly um, pronounce the E and the I sounds because a lot of people will misunderstand you if you mispronounce uh, a word, okay? So for example, let's go through the commonly confused uh, word, confusing words. You have pick and peak, okay? So you don't say, oh, you can, you can peak whatever you want, <laughs> all right? So you don't say that. You have to say, you can pick whatever you want. Otherwise, they will misunderstand you, right? And you have the wheel and will. Okay, so you're not going to say, oh, I'm, I'm going to write a wheel. What do you mean, right? So actually, you meant, I'm going to write a will. Okay, next is each and itch. Read, read. Okay, very, very important um, difference there. The next slide is even more important. Okay, the next set of words are the words that I always hear being mispronounced by, you know, by us Filipinos. So let's tackle some of them, okay? So there's seek and sick, all right? So when you're not feeling, when you're not feeling well, you're not seek, okay? You're, you are sick. Okay, and you have deep and dip. So the swimming pool, the water and swimming pool is dip. No, it's deep, but you do dip in the pool that is deep. Okay, all right. So the next one is kind of funny, but I think I should talk about this pair. You have beach and bitch okay so a lot of us will get into trouble if we don't pronounce this right so you have the word beach where you swim and bitch is not really a nice word um so be careful you do not swim in the bitch <laughs> okay you go to the beach okay all right and the last one is the funniest of all that i've heard so many times Okay, you have the word sheet and shit. Okay, and you all know that the the the, the form uh, the latter um, is also not a nice word depending on um, the situation. Okay, so you don't say, oh, please give please give me a sheet of paper. Okay, and you know that's really funny. Okay, that's hilarious. So make sure you pronounce the word correctly sheet of paper okay and if you want to you know if you want to if you're if you're mad then make sure you also pronounce the right one <laughs> okay all right so i hope it's clear and uh you might want to again pause at any point of this lesson and practice on your own okay It's also good to remember to use the sound I for words that end with specific letters, okay? For example, consonant plus these letters. If, for example, native, sensitive, pensive, so it's I, it's not E, 
So you don't say sensitive. No, it's sensitive. Or IST like racist, wrist, fist. Okay. Or ick, IC like automatic, basic, chronic. And you have it, profit, affidavit, credit. Actually, when you see the, the word it, you don't say eat, right? So it's it. All right. And uh, you have uh, N as well, like chin, login, muffin, and uh, also like verbs uh, or nouns that end with ing, uh, like reading, writing, singing. So that's also I, right? So you don't say, you don't say singing, writing, reading. It's not like that. It's ing, reading, writing, and singing. Uh, another one would be ISM, which is tourism, journalism, autism, okay? So um, it's not tourism, journalism, autism. It's not like that. It's ism, okay? And, of course, uh, S is sounded as Z there. So tourism, journalism, autism, okay? And then you have uh, L, like shrill, still, and bill, all right? Okay, so let's have a little quiz. And you have here a sentence. So how are you going to read this? And uh, making sure that you pronounce the I and the E in the right spots. Okay, so can you read it? Read it right now? All right. Okay, so you have here she dreams of having a sleek, discreet, and extremely clean house by the beach. Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. How are you going to read this? All right, let's do it together. He definitely believes in seizing the opportunity will lead to victory. All right. Okay, marami salamat po for watching and I hope that you learned a lot today. And if you have any questions, simply comment below po or tweet at Miss Nosebleed. Thank you for watching. That's it, short and sweet. You know what to do. Got any questions? I'll see what I can do. See you next time.